Chris Watts. In August of 2018, Chris Watts gave an interview in front of his house after his pregnant wife and two daughters went missing. He spoke to a local news station, seemingly hoping it would lead to his family being found. I just want, I want everybody to just come home. Like, wherever they're at, come home. That's what I want. Watts said that he didn't know where his family was and that he wanted them back. But the interview ended up raising some red flags. I want them wherever they're at. Like, I have no inclination to where they're at right now. If they're safe right now, they're going to come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's, what, that's the not knowing part. After detectives examined Watts' body language in the interview, they felt that he was acting off. He was also being investigated at the time of giving the interview. Just two days later, he admitted to taking the lives of his wife and daughters. Bank robber. In 2017, there was a string of bank robberies in Georgia. The suspect was seen on surveillance video, but authorities did not know who he was. He would walk into banks and hand them a note saying that he was armed. He would wear a hat and a mask. During his bank robbery run, a local TV reporter happened to be doing a story on traffic when she asked for a man's opinion. It was the bank robber, and not only did he stop, but he even gave her his real name. Before the interview, he reportedly asked to take off the same hat that he wore in the robberies. It doesn't really have its own public transportation, so Marta coming out here would definitely help out a lot. After the interview aired, he was recognized by police on TV, and the reporter then gave him his name, which led to him being caught. Deborah Kinsey. When 64-year-old Charlotte Nichols was found killed in her house in October of 2015, news coverage led them to an interview of the next-door neighbor. The next-door neighbor was 63-year-old Deborah Kinsey. Kinsey was also the person who first reported the crime after finding the victim. She had been good friends with the victim and gave an interview appearing shaken by her friend's passing. I didn't hear nothing, but I heard the TV going. So I opened her, she always left her door unlocked. So I opened her door and I walked in and called her name. So I walked in the kitchen and there was her body. But afterwards, an investigation found that she had pawned jewelry belonging to Nicholas that same day. It was also found that the two neighbors had been having problems. She was arrested shortly after. Stephen McDaniel. In 2011, Mercer College Law graduate Lauren Giddings went missing. A local news story went to cover it and interviewed her next door neighbor, Stephen McDaniels. We're, we don't know where she is. I mean, the only thing we can think is that maybe she went out running and someone snatched her. McDaniel seems very distraught in the interview. Then the reporter mentions how her body had just been found, and McDaniels appears very shaken up. I think I need to sit down. Okay. Not long after the interview, McDaniels was questioned and was later arrested and found guilty of taking the life of Giddings. Matthew Haverly. In May of 2018, a body of a woman was found in a creek in Pennsylvania. A news crew came out and interviewed Matthew Haverly, who lived across the street from the scene. He appeared pretty normal and concerned about the situation during his interview. He even gave some ideas of what he thought might have happened. I think there was kind of a hit and something happened. Something went bad and this is like a rural area, so they just wanted to plant the body somewhere else. A while later, however, Matthew Haverly's sister called in, fearing that the victim might have been their mother. After she gave some information, it was confirmed that the victim was in fact 60-year-old Patricia Haverly. She had lived with her son Matthew, so the police questioned him. He admitted to having an argument with his mother the night before, and after she tried to hit him, he said he blacked out. Haverly was arrested and was later found guilty 